today we're here with Madison Pettis. Hi! You'll know her mostly from Game Plan and Lab Rats. And her newest project is Mostly Ghostly 2, which has just come out recently. Yes, it's on iTunes, Netflix, DVD, go check it out. So yeah, you'll have to check that one out. <laughs> Today we're going to do a story focusing on a gold eye with this amazing product that gives a very kind of liquid gold looking effect. So pretty. And we're also going to be using this amazing product, Rose Hip Plus. It's completely organic, cold pressed and cruelty free to animals. So we'll be talking about all of the great properties and the great benefits of natural rose hip oil. One of the things I love most about this product is you can actually use it on any part of the skin that's dry. I love to use it on the cuticles, um, any dry area. Some people use it on their elbows if they have any dry rough patches from eczema. It's so natural and organic, it's not going to harm you in any way. And um, the only place that you shouldn't use it on is on broken skin. So Madison, how do you find your skin? I'd say it's pretty normal to combination. Normal to combination? Yeah. Because the um, both the day cream and the night cream are relatively light. I choose to oh, use good. the night cream myself, mm -hmm. like in the daytime as well, because I find it's not too heavy. But the day cream is very light, so we might start with that for you cool. because you don't want anything to be too heavy no. underneath makeup because then it makes it slide off. Right. So we're gonna start with the day cream, which is really, really light. And you can apply it quite liberally because it's not really like it's not going to really get greasy or anything and it's very natural, it's not going to make you break out or anything. It smells nice. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it? smells like roses. Yeah. Beautiful thing about this product is that like it has been around since, you know, the days of Marie Antoinette. It's yeah. like, it's nothing new, it's, it's one of the oldest tricks in the book but now it's kind of been made into a product that's commercially available. Because of the gold shadow that I'm using today, I really want it to stick so I'm using an eye primer. I'm going to take it all the way from the lash line to the brow bone and press it in with my finger and this is going to make the eyeshadow last a long time. So now for the eye, I really want it to be a real wet look so I'm using this gold metallic powder and while we've created the base with the primer, I'm not powdering it and I'm going to go straight onto that so it really sticks. So make sure there's no creases or lines in the primer first and then we're just going to press that straight in. taking a darker brown shadow right into the bottom lash line just to give the eye lots of definition and a finishing point and open the eyes up a little bit. And the same dark brown shadow that we use underneath in the bottom lash line, I'm just going to blend into the socket line as well. So Madison, what do you think? Let me see. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. That gold is so cool. It makes my eyes pop so much. Yeah, that color's got a lot of punch to my it. My skin looks so dewy from the rose oil moisturizer. It's good, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. And it's kind of Yay. light. It's not very greasy, so yeah, it doesn't I love make it. the base slip off, which is great. And also take this Rose Hip Plus um, roll-on for it would be perfect for keeping your hand back. Oh, perfect. A little touch-ups throughout the day. Yeah, my nails and everything. Perfect. Yay, thank you. <laughs> 